We did quite a few locks yesterday. Yeah. And then we moored up here at about 5.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, it was quite late <laughs> we for were, us. We were pretty knackered. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's just after we finished mooring up and went inside, it started raining. So that was good timing. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just, we're just past where we had that um, guillotine lock, lock gate. And now we've got 17 locks till we the get to the summit. It's only three region. miles. It's <laughs> only three miles, but it's 17 <laughs> locks. So it's going to take us quite some time. We yeah. don't know if we're going to get to the summit today. We'll just see how we go. There's like, five locks that roughly five locks that lead to the summit itself and they tend to lock those at about four o'clock i think yeah um and they're also closed on fridays and today's thursday so if we don't if we don't get through it today it's not that big of a deal we'll just wait wherever we can find a mooring for yeah. today and tomorrow and then on saturday we'll be able to continue through. Up through the summit over to the other side to we'll be going side. down we'll be going down <laughs> downhill is quicker and easier <laughs> yeah we have been waiting around to see if any other boats will go past us so well, that we can share locks but we haven't seen any movement so no. we're just gonna go yeah we'll take it a bit easier the first few locks and if someone comes up behind us we'll wait for them yeah let's get cruising let's get cruising Yesterday afternoon we made it to the three locks just below the summit. It was a long day. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> we only went three miles? 
It wasn't even three miles, was it? Because it's like three miles to the top of... Oh, so it, it would have been miles? about two and three quarters of a mile. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very far, but because we went through 14 big double locks, yeah. it felt far. <laughs> there was quite a few of them that took forever to fill. Yeah, lots of leaky ones and a lot of the paddles are really stiff and jammed and Ryan bent a windlass on yes. one of them. <laughs> I, I twisted a bent, uh, windlass out of shape. I didn't get it anywhere. I achieved nothing except for <laughs> bending the windlass. So we had to uh, just use one paddle on that particular lock. lock. There was quite a few where the, some of the paddles were had broken or yeah. the um, paddles had completely disconnected themselves from the cranks. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, today we are tackling the last three locks to the summit and I think there's about 12 locks down on the other side before we get to an area where we could pr probably moor. Yeah, so, so that's the plan for today. So another 15 locks. Another 15 locks today and another, what, about three miles? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are just so many locks in such a short amount of space along here. Yeah. Um, we didn't get very far, <laughs> so we, we were more there. Yeah, we were more literally just here. Just there. So we, we moved forward one boat length. Onto the lock landing itself. So we made 60 foot progress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the water in the next pound is really, really low. Really low. Yeah. We would get grounded if we tried to get through it, and that's not including taking into account the water that we would have to empty into the lock to get us risen up to that level and that would drain the pound even more. Yeah. Now because it's the summit, I've, we're very hesitant to, um, what's the word, like drain water from, from further up, down, yeah, which but... on a lot of other canals is usually okay because there's plenty of water, but because it's the summit, it's not, not really a good idea. And on the Roche Dale, which is already a canal that is quite plagued with water sure. issues yeah, yeah. so we called CRT and they're gonna come out and sort something out yeah they know better what to do so we're gonna yeah. just wait here and they'll sort us out a bit later yeah not oh. much else we can do just this canal time so <laughs> <laughs> have a cup of tea yeah have some biscuits we'd organize a rest day around this time anyway so <laughs> yeah we did initially think that we saw a sign back at Hebden Bridge that these locks would be closed on Fridays. We called up CRT yesterday to ask if that was still the case, and it's not. No, it must have been a very old sign. Yeah, it must have been a pretty old sign, but yeah, it's not, not locked up. Today's Friday, which is the day it should have been locked up, and we thought, well, we can't really stay moored here because we were <laughs> like three foot off the bank from where we were moored because it's yeah. all built silt. It's all silty. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, well. we'll just wait. We made it to the summit of the Rochdale Canal. It is 4.30 in the afternoon and we've just gone through these last three locks. There were some CRT uh, people who came to sort out some water levels for us. So we've just made it up and we're just gonna moor up a little bit in the summit somewhere rather than go down any locks today. Because it is 4.30. I don't know if I already said that, but it's 4.30 already. Yeah.
How have you done this? Are you getting tangled fixed though? She's got to go bushwhacking. <laughs> don't you? you got to go bushwhacking. <laughs> no, don't go back in the bush. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you like this? She loves running around in long grass. Yeah. Funny dog. We've gone down the first lock of the flight off the summit. Yeah. So the water level's a little bit more calm here. It kind of seems to stay a bit more level. So there's also moorings here, which is yeah. an added bonus. So we're just tied up to those and we're going to stay here probably tomorrow because the weather's not supposed to be great. We'll see tomorrow because yeah, yeah. the weather forecast changes on the hour. <laughs> we have to sit here. It's, it, it's, it's not a, really a bad nice spot, spot to be stuck in the rain. There's a pub just across the canal there. Very important. <laughs> we're on our own a little bit here. It's fairly quiet. It's on the off side as well so we don't get the noise of walkers yeah. and cyclists and all that sort of stuff. Nice so. view of the mountain. Yeah, it's a nice spot. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Time to go to that pub. Yeah. Get a cider. <laughs> get a cider, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, dog? Seriously, you're going to push me over? <laughs> Like, move, Maggie. <laughs> I'm exploring <laughs> here. She loves the long grass. Don't you, Pixel? What? What were you leaping on there, <laughs> Pixel? Pixel? What? What you got all this stuff all over your face? What is this?